Waypoint at the 1,000 metres mark, and it's Sakura Girl. Not breaking any records out in front, so he's trying to dictate the pace. So McNabb on this leader, led by three quarters of a length. Up on the outside, Jim Bella. St. Alice continues to get a lovely run in the trail. Followed round next then by Love for All. Then came Blue Moon. No moves as yet from Town Crier. Two back Aromatic. Carmen Line, it's inside from then Le Sablier. Further away, Lana Cord, Iridessa. Outback Opal, and last of all, the perfect pink. Inside the 600 metres. Sakura Girl, the pacemaker, and leads by a head now from Chiambella. Love for All works round on the outside. Right in behind them, St. Ellis. Aromatics on the improve now as they turn and head for home. 300 metres to go in the Travis Stakes. It's Sakura Girl. St. Ellis got that run off, one off the rail to come up after her. Out wider, Aromatic. Battling away then, Town Cry, Carmen Line, Lana Cord, Sakura Girl on the inside. Aromatic coming after it from St. Ellis. It's Sakura Girl, but Aromatic's range to the lead with 75 metres to go, and the grey mare, Aromatic, goes on to win the Travis Stakes. Aromatic number one. They're hard to beat in the big races, aren't they? Tiako, Mark Walker, and Opie Bosson. And Aromatic, bred by Tony Ryder, owned by the Tiako Sacred Wine Syndicate, managed by Karen Fenton Ellis. She just ground down the filly, did Aromatic, and she'll pick up win number six at start 27 and importantly picks up a group two next to her name in the Travis Stakes this year.